When a doctor starts a new practice, um, especially an ophthalmologist, overhead's a really significant part of what uh, you've got to look at. Ophthalmologist's overhead is higher than the typical uh, physician. The difference between uh, what a doctor's gross billings are and the actual amount that the doctor's making can be really significant. So uh, for someone in an established practice, uh, it's about 40%. For someone uh, who's not doing surgery anymore, it could be a lot higher than that, it could be 60% even. Well, the cuts are hitting our, our biggest services. They're hitting uh, areas like cataract surgery and uh, the treatment of macular degeneration and glaucoma and diabetes. So uh, those are conditions that affect uh, millions of people in Ontario. The cuts that are, have been proposed are another 10% uh, cut to cataract surgery, so that's 25%. Over the last three years, cataract surgery has been cut. It's a 40% cut to intravitreal injections, which are used to treat uh, macular degeneration and, and diabetes. And it's a 70% cut to a test called the OCT, Optical Coherence Tomography, which is something we use to manage glaucoma, diabetes, and macular degeneration. The OCT is a test that shows us things we can't see with the naked eye, so uh, conditions we don't even know are there can be detected with the OCT. That's something that's going to let us find things earlier, and anything we find earlier we are uh, able to treat more effectively before it starts to get bad. The current fee cut for a diagnostic test lowers the fee below what it actually costs the doctor to do the test. So what the government's doing when they do this is they're saying, look, uh, you care about your patients, why don't you provide this uh, service for free? or at a loss. Not everybody can afford to do that and people don't like the tone of that cut either. Physicians don't want to start subsidizing health care. I mean, we care about our patients but we're here to provide care not to pay for health care. Glaucoma patients, we need that test to know if we're treating them properly. We need to be more aggressive with the treatment. Macular generation patients, we need to know uh, does this patient need to be uh, injected with, uh, with the drug this, this month. Um, and the, the costs aren't going to save anybody any money. Uh, especially in terms of macular degeneration, because if doctors can't tell if the patient should be treated or not, they're going to be careful and they're going to tend to treat them with a $1,700 drug instead of uh, using a $60 test. The other thing that's going on at the same time physicians' fees are being cut, hospital fees uh, are also being cut. Some hospitals aren't going to be able to afford to provide cataract surgery with the new rates that the ministry's introduced. Most likely smaller centers, most likely places that are not uh, downtown Toronto. So what that means is those patients are going to have to travel to get their care and uh, of course wait lists are going to increase because less places are doing providing the services. The health care cuts are going to affect seniors the most. Uh, seniors are the people who get macular degeneration and cataracts and glaucoma. So to, to make this artificial distinction between an, uh, I, the minister saying I've got to choose between seniors and specialists, I mean of course everybody knows specialists are treating seniors, so cuts to services provided by specialists hurt seniors. Patients need to advocate for themselves. Patients need to let their MPPs know that these cuts are going to affect their ability to get care and patients need to let the Minister of Health know that uh, they're going to notice when these uh, services are no longer offered and they're going to be upset.